Ladies, put some pants on, cover yourself, stop being perverts. So many wicked perverts out here. Oops. I have got to be careful of how tall this thing is. Mm. Turn from your sins. Repent. In Jesus Christ's name. It's time to turn from your wickedness. And it's time to come back to the Lord. It's time to come back to Jesus Christ so that you can be saved. God did not send His Son Jesus to condemn the world, but to save it. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to know Him. The Bible says, how do we know that we know God? If we obey His commandments, are you obeying His commandments today? Are you obeying God's commandments? Nasty woman with no clothes on. Yeah, you, put some clothes on. No one wants to see that. Should not be shocking. It should be shocked that you're seeing that in public. It's called uh, public indecency. I see a lot of public indecency. I don't know why these officers aren't doing anything about these naked people walking around. It's public indecency. It's gross. Just because you're a girl doesn't mean you can walk around in public half naked. I'm talking to you guys. Stop being nasty. Stop being nasty, harlot. Stop being nasty, you whores. Don't be mad at me. Your parents didn't raise you to be modest. Your parents didn't raise you to not show your nakedness in public. It's gross. Cover yourselves. Your nakedness is not for all of LA to see. It's for your husband. No, it's not, whore. No, it is not, whore. No whores. It's time to repent from being a whore, ladies. Stop being the nasty whores, ladies. Who raised you to be a nasty whore, ladies? What is going on? Did your parents not give you enough attention, nasty whores? Did your parents not give you enough attention? Well, God is here for you. God is here to raise you the right way. God is here to raise you in the proper way. It's not too late. It's not too late for you to repent from dressing all nasty, from the men who dress like women, and the women who barely dress at all, it's not too late for you to repent of these sins. Stop looking for nasty pervert eyes to look at you. Look for God's eyes to look at you. Why are you worried about what perverts see when you should worry about what God is seeing? How does God look at you, huh? How is God looking at you right now? What does God see? Are you giving glory to God when you dress the way you do? No, a lot of you, not a lot of you. Not a lot of you. If I'm disgusted by what you ladies are wearing, imagine how God feels. Stop wearing the dress. If you're a man, if you're a man, stop wearing the dress. I don't know who told you that's okay, but it's not. A lot of you men out here in dresses must not have had father figures. Think of what your father thinks of you. What? What's a kilt? A what? Like a kilt. Like, you know, you see Scottish people, Scottish men wear that. So it's like, I agree with you on like 90% of things, but I, I just wanted to ask how do you uh, like address nuances and dress like Is that? a kilt made for a man? Yeah, it's, it's made fine. for men and it's common to uh, people of the Scottish Highlands, to males of the Scottish Highlands. The, so. the Bible specifically says a man should not wear what pertains to a woman. So oh. if a kilt does not pertain 
to a woman, then it's fine to wear. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so at least, see, that's what people mistaken with a lot of Christianity. Because yeah. I minored in theology. Yeah. And uh, that's part of the reason why I majored in philosophy, because I yeah. saw a lot of bullshit happen in the world in the mid-2010s. Yeah. And uh, I came from a science background, so mm. I, I was around a lot of atheists who I just felt were just unworthy. So, right. I'm Brian, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet you, Brian. I'm Zach. Nice to meet you, Zach. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, so, so thanks for that. I can, I can now tell people that... I can now tell people who are not of the religious persuasion and I can address people of nuances saying well, that well that's the Bible that's what the Bible tells you to do it tells true. you to have uh, discernment but let yeah, me ask you this are you a Christian do you believe in God I believe in God okay but I don't necessarily believe in religious institutions I don't believe in religious institutions either and the Bible tells you not to believe in religious institutions but it does tell you to have a relationship with God and obey His commandments. Mm -hmm. So, do you do you believe in the God of the Bible? Yeah, when you said that. Mm -hmm. okay. I believe Amen. the one, all-knowing, all-powerful, uh, little Lord who reigns over now, the universe. Are, now, are you obeying His commandments? I like to try to my best. There yeah. are times, you know, being a short mortal, I can't You're... fully obtain to it. But I do speak to people in churches. I do talk to mm -hmm. some of my. Uh, my Jewish friends from the old church, you know, yeah. about you know their traditions, just to inform how Christians should believe. Are you familiar with Messianic Judaism? Messianic Judaism? No. It's the concept of uh, sort of re returning the Christian faith back to its original sort of Jewish heritage. You still so believe in Jesus as the Son of God, yeah. but you obey kosher laws, you honor the Sabbath, you, you go to church on Saturdays. Yeah. What, what you can do, right? Uh, I don't think those things condemn you, but you're free to do those things. Uh, but uh, it's good that you're following it. Do you mind if I ask what sins you're still struggling with? Uh, hmm. Gluttony. Gluttony. Dude, I, no, I, I, I eat... Uh, well, thank you. I'm doing better <laughs> at, uh, at respecting my body. I run yeah. three miles twice a week. Have you tried I, fasting? I do 200 push-ups. Yeah, yes, please. It's free country. Go ahead. Uh, you, have you tried fasting? I, I've tried vegetarian. Uh -huh. Not yet, Brian. I would recommend fasting. I mean, it's not like I do it like adamantly either. But uh, to to get, it's okay. I can't control it. It's on a swivel. Oh no, it's God, right? <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, but uh, no problem. But uh, I would recommend fasting. It'll give you uh, a greater enlightenment and uh, and uh, and it'll help you with that gluttony. Because the whole point of fasting, right, is to make sure that you are the spirit that's telling your body what to do, not your body oh, telling okay, you yeah. what to do. No, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Exert right. dominion over, right. over the control. Over your flesh. It, 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 Genesis did say man has dominion over the earth. Yes. That doesn't mean dominate, that just means exercise dominion. control. Right, and he expects you as the spirit to do the same thing with your yeah. flesh. To how, not how, be all right, flesh. That's, that's really not. How old are you, Brian? I'm, uh, man, what am I pushing? 34, 35 Oh, wow. Now? Okay. Well, yeah. I'm 28 right now, oh. so uh, it's well, kind of nice meeting another millennial who can have these intellectual conversations. Hey Amen. So. I just recently came to the Lord like three or four years ago and then started preaching three years ago. Oh. So I'm oh. I'm still learning as well. But okay. as Christians, as people who believe in God, mm -hmm. we sharpen yeah. each other. I mean, I certainly am a person of the book. I, I have a few Muslim friends yeah. who do say that for a man of a Jewish name and a Latin heritage, you're, you're still a, of the book. So. Yeah. yeah so he, they don't like me eating pork, but that's... Well, uh, the Bible says uh, that Jesus stated that uh, it's not what goes in the man, because whatever goes in you and that goes in your belly comes out the other end. But it's what comes out of the man's mouth is what defiles you. So, you know, they go by the Mosaic law, but they, had, they fail to uh, keep in mind that Moses only gave those laws based off of how much information he got from God to give those people. And he gave them to the Israelites and the Jews. Uh, but when Jesus came, he had more wisdom and he had yeah. a better understanding because he was the son of God. So when he came down, he taught them what was really important. So he was like, listen, you guys are holding to uh, Moses' law, but, uh, but you Stop. will be judged by those laws yeah. if you stick with those laws. So instead, go with the laws. And he's not like usurping it or saying yeah, yeah. that it's wrong. He's just saying that I have a better understanding and a greater mercy yeah. that can actually save you. 
Yeah, because as, if you stay with you these, said, yeah, you're not you going to be saved. It doesn't matter what you eat, as long as you do it safely, I guess, yeah. and, and just give thanks to the Lord right. over your meal. You can eat because because you you, you can go by the Mosaic law you want, but with the Mosaic law, you don't have Jesus to save you from the sins you've right. already committed. Okay, Brandon, was it? Brian. Brian. Yeah. It's okay. nice to meet, you, to meet you, Brian. Right. I got to go in and meet some friends. Go so. for it. All right. God bless you. All right. Is this thing supposed to swivel? Because if it's not, I think I broke it. Because it's swiveling a lot. I think it's good. I don't know. I'll check again. Just like a man, not a woman. The Bible calls that feminism. The Bible says it's an abomination for a man to dress like a woman. And it's an abomination for a woman to dress like a man. These things are an abomination to God. I'm here to warn you because I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to go to heaven. It's not God's will for you to go to hell either. So he sends out the preachers. He says, how will they hear? With, how will they hear the word without a preacher? How will they know if they don't hear the word? And how will they hear the word without a preacher? Well, here I am. Here's the preacher telling you that you must repent for your sins. You must turn from your wicked ways. That your friends and your family and your society and your school and your job is not going to save you from hellfire. It's not going to save you from your deeds that you've already committed. Your wicked and perverted and nasty and disgusting and filthy degenerate deeds. Oh, you know what they are. I don't. I don't know what your deeds are, but you know what they are. What you got away with and what you didn't get away with. You know what those deeds are. A just God's going to make sure you pay for it. If you don't repent. You see, Jesus died on the cross and paid for your sins. But does that mean for you to keep sinning, woman? No. Bible says, should we return to our sins? like a dog in his vomit. God forbid, God forbid you go back to your sin like a dog in his vomit. Because the worst thing, oh, the worst thing is going to come upon you if you go back to your sins. Don't you know that you're gonna be held into an even greater account for knowing what was right and still doing what was wrong. Still sitting, still dressing naked, still sleeping around. If you're behind as fat, you need to cover it. Eat it, bitch. No one's gonna eat it, nasty whore. I eat food, not nasty women. I don't put my lips on nasty women. I don't touch the unclean thing and you're unclean. Men, don't touch the unclean thing. Don't touch the unclean whores, men. Don't do it. No, no, find you a good and modest woman. Find you a good and modest and clean woman, not the nasty harlots. The Bible says, that the don't let the whores lead you into a ditch. Don't let the whores lead you into hell. And that's what I see. I see a lot of men turning away from God just to follow some snatch, just to follow some nasty woman. You need to put on some clothes on. You're a man. You got a full grown beard and you don't know where to wear pants. Nasty perverts. Nasty, nasty perverts. Nasty, nasty perverts. You gotta repent, perverts. Hey, man, I was a pervert too, man. I was nasty too. I was sleeping with like two or three women at the, at the same time. Nice. To my own shame. No, it was a shameful act. It was nasty. I was sleeping with these nasty cosplayers. I was, they were coming at me while they were getting you to pay for their hotel room. They were coming to my house. I was like that, man. I was nasty in my sin, but the Lord forgave me. 
And now I detest it. Now I can't stand sin. Now it's gross. You want girls to make it out in front of you? Become a preacher. They won't stop doing it. But it's because they're nasty and they're filled with the devil. They come to mock the preacher. They come to mock God's word because they feel convicted. But guys, don't feel convicted when you hear the gospel. The gospel is not bad news, it's good news. The gospel is news that you don't have to die a lesbian. You don't have to die a filthy homosexual. You don't have to die the nasty whore, the fornicator. You don't have to die the drunkard. You don't have to die the drug user. You can turn from your sins. You can turn away from your wicked deeds. Because guys, if you die in these sins, you're on your way to hell. If you die in these sins, there's no coming back. No one's going to bring you back for a holy grail war. You're going to die and end up in hell forever. There's going to be no escape. No one's going to call you back a thousand years later talking about, are you my master? No, you're going to go to hell. Or you're going to go to heaven if you repent. But there is no coming back. No amount of Dragon Balls are going to bring you back. There's no coming back from death, the Bible says. The Bible says it's appointed one time for a man to die and then the judgment. Are you ready? Are you ready to be judged? Are you living the right lifestyle? Are you living the way God tells you to live? Are you obeying the Lord's commandments? You need to check yourself, ladies and gentlemen. You need to make sure of these things, lest you stumble. Bible says, if you're in sin, you're slave to sin. You're a slave, you're chained to sin. Why are you wearing a dress, man? You're a grown man. Got a full beard, why are you wearing a dress? Only pervert men dress in dresses. Only the little cuck and sit boys dress in dresses. Who said that? Come to, well, wheel yourself over here and say it to my face, woman. No, you didn't. You're scurrying off in your little wheelchair because you're too lazy to walk. Too lazy to walk. Oh, this lazy, nasty generation. The biggest exercise she has is laying on her back and she's got the nerve to come against the preacher. Don't get mad at me for preaching you the word. It's not here to hurt you. It's not gonna hurt you. It's here to save you. It's here to set you right. It's here to get you back on the right path. It's time to come back to the right path, guys. It's time to come back to Jesus Christ. Where did you go? Just like God talking to Adam and Eve, where are you? Where are you, he said. When Adam and Eve ate the apple, God was looking for him, said, where are you? That's what he's saying to you. When you're in your sin, God's wondering, where are you? Why are you not obeying my commandments? Why are you hiding your sins? Don't you know that the sinners, they're not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven? They're not going to answer in. No, the Bible says the path to hell. Oh, it's a wide path. Oh, it's a wide path to destruction. All of this is a big wide path. And look at them all walk it. Look at all the sinners who walk the wide path. It's not the path God wants you on. He wants you on the narrow one. He wants you on the narrow path. He wants you to go in through the narrow gate. Don't follow the whores. Don't follow the nasty whores. Don't follow the homosexuals. Don't follow the perverts. Don't follow the drunkards. Don't follow the drug users and the liars. Follow God. Follow the God that loves you. Follow the Jesus Christ who died for you. 
You're happy about that? Yay. I was happy about the guy. It's rare. It's rare for people to be happy about the gospel. Even though it's good news. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Guys, stop following these people into hellfire. It's not going to help you. Guys, you're going to die one day. And when you die, it's time for judgment. When you die, it's time for an it's time to answer for every idle word. It's time to answer for every deed known and unknown. Why are you dressed like a woman, dude? Why not? Because that's perverted. You're a man, you gotta dress like a man. You look like a boy. So what? You dress like a boy. Uh okay. I mean, you dress like an idiot, but that's fine. You sound like an idiot. I sound like an idiot? You know what the Bible says? Like I'll, I'll explain that to you. Yeah. The Bible says that the gospel is foolishness to those who are perishing. So if, oh, I, okay. so if I sound foolish, it's right, because you're that's, going that's to That's really funny because... Um, I'm Brian, by the way. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I choose the sound. I'll right, choose yeah, with yeah, everyone's yeah. lighter. Now, you know, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah. Why are you dressed like a woman? Why am I dressed like a woman? Yeah. What's... Uh, how... How is a man supposed to dress? Like a man, You're supposed to wear a What's shirt that? and pants. I mean, you're I'm you're not some. Well, you know, well, you're 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 wearing this top that's designed for a woman, yeah. and it seems like you're wearing a bra too. Do uh -huh. you have? Did did you have implants no. set into you? No. Did you did you do some sort of hormone treatment? Why do you have breasts? Men don't why do normally. I have breasts? Yeah. I mean, why do you have breasts? I, well, I have why a do chest. You have I have a chest. You seem to have I mean, protruding. You, it's like. If you don't want to explain it to no, me, no, that's I, fine. I, but I'm just. No, I'm, I'm. I'm actually. Yo, you know, like I don't think you think like I'm like ashamed or something. No, I don't think you're ashamed. Yeah, no, I no. think you should be ashamed, but I don't Why think you I are ashamed? ashamed because it's an abomination of God. It's disgusting. Where, it's uh, where in the Bible does it say that? I can show it to you uh, if you don't want to. If you want to Google it Maybe yourself. You hold that for you? No, I'll hold oh, okay. it. But the Bible says it's a it's an abomination for a man to dress like a woman. You know where the yes, one piece sorry. Is? Huh? You know where the one piece is? Like the booth? No, the one piece. Uh, I'm talking right now. If you if you're gonna be you like, talking, you said fine. Yeah. You said you know stuff about. Listen, I'm talking to him and you're interrupting. You know the answer. I just want to know what. You're interrupting our conversation. Do you mind waiting? They're not. They're, they're not interrupting me. Yeah, yes they are. Cause you asked me a question and I'm trying to answer it. Uh, let me get my phone. But the Bible says it's an abomination. For a man to just oh, like pull a woman. Oh, you pulling your phone? Yeah, somebody, it's yeah. on Google. You not? You, you don't have a Bible with you? The Bible's on your phone. Yo, there's no. There was no phone in the Bible. So what? Okay. What matters is what was. There was no phone in the Bible. In the Bible. So what, how? What, what matters? Like, what matters? That, that's an abomination, dude. But it's not. It we're is. We're in the Bible. Where? Where? Where in the Bible does it say that you can have a phone? What are you talking about? They didn't have phones back then. Yeah. They wrote so, it. They wrote it in books. They wrote it on tablets. They yeah. wrote it on walls. Yeah, and the same so, things here is written but on like, the phone. So, but you want listen, us to do this the old way. Listen, guy. You're, Homie, like, you're, listen. No, your your problem bro, is you're, you, you you're, got hair longer you're, than mine. You're worried about where it's your written. Hair. You're worried about how I read it instead of what it actually says. And the I'm Bible says a feminist. You can say, I can say that it says whatever because, like, I don't have to say that you. That's well, I, how you read it. Well, I can prove it. Because, to like, you, here's the thing: I actually like the Bible because it, it doesn't sound like it. No, no, no. It sounds I don't like, like you're offended people by that, it. like, use the Bible to, to like do to what? shit like this. Like, you're I'm recording right now, right? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. So, are are you on TikTok? I'm on uh, YouTube. TikTok banned me. Oh, what's, oh, <laughs> oh, of course they did. Of course they did. Yeah, they're all the devil. Because, like, why would they let they get on? Because they're all the devil. That's huh? why. Because they're the devil. Because if you heard God's word on TikTok, maybe you'd Yo, repent and be saved. Hold up. Hey, you can look at my channel. It's Salt of Thy Earth. It's on YouTube. We have a Discord. If you want to go on there, no, you no, can no, talk no. to guys there and talk no, to me no. there. We'll show you. you... <clears throat> Yo. You don't want to hear it. No, no. I'm... We're on TikTok. I'll, I'll get you back on go TikTok. Ahead. Yo. Hey. Home, homeboy, what's, what's your name? Brian. Brian. Brian, I'm from Salt of Thy Earth Ministries. You can look me up on YouTube. TikTok banned me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did TikTok ban you? Because I'm a Christian, and uh, and they don't want you to know that you can repent for your sins. But you oh. can, and God loves you, and you need to repent, or else you're going to go to hell. Oh, is that... I, I'd be careful about posting that. I'd oh, yeah. They Yo, like, I don't want to get my... Account right, you're still like, taking that. Like, yeah, because right. like, the bus going to like, <laughs> listen to, to the words that you're saying. Right. And, and that and thing is coming from me. It doesn't... Which, well, I never would say that shit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who says it. They don't. The devil doesn't want them to hear it. So they'll take Yo, it you, down. You know how, how I got to be this way? 
Sin, the devil, the devil fooled you. No, I was born this way, but like- You were um, born that way. I was born, born a man. Way. You were Bro, born a man. I wasn't born a man. Were You're you born, born a man? man? Because yes, like... I was born a man. I was born a man. I was you... born a pee with a pee pee. I have a pee pee. It makes me a man. That makes you and a man? You, yeah, and you were so born like, the same like way. So like if someone doesn't have a pee pee? If someone doesn't have a pee pee, that means they're a woman. You didn't know that? They teach yo, you yo, that yo, so, so like, you, you don't need a vagina to be a woman? You No, you have to have a vagina to be okay. a woman. No, you, you, you just said that you just don't need a pee pee. Yeah. yeah. If, if that's you what a vagina that, like, is, you don't it's have the a, lack of a think, penis. No, no, no. How do you and you don't know this? Bro. How do you and you don't how, know how, how old are you? woman is? Yo, I'm like 32. I'm, I'm, I'm like 32. 32? Yeah. Yo, this, this kid, 10 years younger than me. And you don't know what a woman is? Yo, I know what a woman is. What's a woman? Uh, someone that gets um, talked down to by men. No, no, who no. Who think they know more? What? Who, yeah. That's what. That's what you yeah, think yeah. a woman is. No, no, no. Is, no. Is There's so much more. Hold on, hold on. Because you, you got well, like a few hours. Because like, I don't. Go I don't. I don't. Everything a woman is. I don't. And have trust a few me, hours. none of it has to do I with I don't how have, you look. Listen, I'll explain. Because look, look I don't have a here. few hours if you're not willing to listen. If you're, Bro, if you're upset, I'm, I'm willing to talk to you. That's fine. As long as you like, I don't care if you okay. listen. Because here's the thing, <laughs> it's not it's not about you. No, it's, it's not. About, it's about Jesus. It's about everyone. It's about Jesus. See this yeah. and think, like, hey, Amen. hey, Brian. Yes, it's a bigot who listen. If all the trans people went away tomorrow, how is your life going to be better? How, like. How is it gonna be better tomorrow? If all you wake up and all the trans people go to heaven and all that's left here are Christians. Trans people wouldn't go to heaven. They would go to hell. Why, how, how do you know that? You've been to heaven? The Bible says it. The Bible says yeah, it. God trans says people, it. The Bible trans says trans people, people don't yeah. aren't, aren't go to heaven. I, I, there's a verse that says, and, and again, you guys can Google it if you want to look it up. The Bible says any man who uh, cuts off his member or crushes his stones will not Hold enter up. into you, the You telling me you never wait. Are you circumcised? No. I mean, yes. Oh, I am okay, circumcised. Okay. Yeah, Brian's yeah. circumcised, y'all. Not by my choice. I mean, but like, you know. Not by my not, choice. Oh, but you. I was you, a baby. I didn't have a choice. Oh, well, okay. So, babies don't have a choice? No, they don't. Okay, so. Whoops. Like, Sorry. This thing swivels but like, on the song. You, you're saying that you, you would do like something if you had a choice? Yes. If I had a conscious yeah. and, and choice to make a choice, okay. I would make my choice. I made a choice, y'all. I made a choice to hang out with Brian today. Yeah. Because, like, it's a long ass line to get my badge, so I'm gonna wait around. You didn't get it on day zero? Bro! You didn't get I, it on day They sent an email all to all those people saying, hey, we weren't able to mail you your badge. Oh, that's to come get it. Oh, that's a big event. Bullshit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the devil right there, man. That's yeah. the devil, like, making us wait in that line. No, I don't think so. No, no. I, I think it's the Lord. I think the Lord put you here so I can tell you to repent because yeah. He loves you. Hey, you about to get you back on TikTok. Hey, Hey, t uh, How long does TikTok do videos? No, now? This, I'm not. It's not a lie, man. I'm gonna edit, edit You're the gonna shit. Edit out of this. It. Okay, cool. Just cool. like how you gonna edit me? No, I'm not gonna edit. Oh, okay. I'll leave you. I don't edit. Hell oh, yeah. Hey, hey, yo. It's Mike Cal. Uh, follow me uh, on YouTube at Mike Cal. Uh, Instagram Mike Cal. Mm -hmm. um, and TikTok Mike Cal baby. You know? Yeah. Be sure to tell them to repent, guys. While hey, it. <laughs> yo. And that we love them. That we don't no, hate them. No, no, we no, love no. them. If, if you love me, you use the right pronouns, bro. What is your pronouns? Uh, they, them. I'm not gonna do that. Cause oh, you're a man, oh, oh. so I'm gonna call you oh, he, him. So, so you never called uh, uh, someone they? No, cause I would be lying to them. And I love you, I'm not gonna lie to you. So, how do you, so you just assume everyone's gender? No, I know what your gender is. You're a man. How, no, you, you didn't know that until I told you. I know that as soon as I seen you. Oh, no, 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 no. Nah. You were like, Oh, why are you dressing like that? Uh, woman then. Cause yeah, like, that's, you a, that's the you, first no, no, thing I said. That's not the first thing you said to me. I came to you. Uh -huh. Because you try to do that shit with someone else. Uh huh. Brian, what's your, what's, what's, what's your TikTok? I don't have a oh, TikTok. Oh, Brian got banned from TikTok. I keep forgetting. Uh -huh. um, what's your, what's your problem, man? What do you really want to tell My problem me? is that like, you're using the Bible. You're using religion. You're using God. Uh huh. To uh, promote like, some negative shit, man. What's negative? I don't do negative shit. What do you mean negative? I mean, well, like, what like, did I, I say? Some negative shit right now because, like, yeah, okay, Brian, let's be fair. Brian. I'm not being negative to you, towards oh. you. I love you. No, you gonna kiss me? No, I'm hey, not gonna Brian, kiss you. Brian that's, he loves me. That's homosexual. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna, hey, I'm not hey. Gonna no, no, no. You. I, you said it first, bro. Yeah, but, Brian, it, but Brian, no. Brian see, that's me. the issue, right? Is that God that's, loves me? that's what you think Does love is? You think you think love is making out with you? You think love is? You think love is touching you? No, no, no. But that's not what love is. That is definitely not what love is. No, it's not um, what love is. That is second base. 
Right. So that's what I'm explaining to you. I love you, but me doing uh, those things to me does me, not but express You're not that. in love with me. No, that's right. That's bullshit, exactly. man. Why? Why are you going to break my heart like that, Brian? Huh? Well, because the truth hurts, man. Oh. Truth, truth is going to stab your heart like a knife. Damn. But it, but it, but it, me, but it doesn't mean that Damn. we don't love you. It means we do love you. Oh, okay. So uh, Brian condones uh, domestic violence. Because, you know, well, that's you a lie. Someone, that's a lie. You love someone. That's a lie. You stab him in the heart, yo. I said it's going to hey, feel like I stabbed you in your heart. Hey. I said the truth yeah. cuts the heart like a knife. It's I, I a mean, figure of speech. How do I get one of this? Like one of what? The, I would hang this shit up and I, I, mean, like, I, I, I remove this. That would be great. I, I mean, I like well, the see, colors, I like that, the design, that's, bro. That's, that's what people do with the Bible, you know that, right? They, huh. they say, hey, the Bible looks cool, but I'd remove that. I'd take that out. Oh. But you're only doing that to your no, own no, destruction, no, no. man. But No, y'all do this. Hey, the Bible's cool, but um, I'm going to add this. That's you know what I'm, you're doing. No, no. You're, you're taking out and adding. I'm just oh, telling no. you oh. what it says. Oh, so I'm not the adding The Bible's anything. never been edited. I'm not there's adding anything. There's only one verse in the Bible? Huh? There's yeah, only there's one only one way it was written. Uh, which which yeah. way is that? Is that the King James way? I would trust the King James, yeah. You would for, oh. for the English translation, yeah. Okay, LeBron, you come out and um, let's teach Brian what the Bible says because I, I don't think King James agrees with you. Oh, uh, okay. What do you think I'm saying that the King James version of the Bible doesn't LeBron say? LeBron says... Who is you LeBron? Le LeBron James? James? LeBron right James? <laughs> LeBron James. Didn't, LeBron, LeBron James didn't King write James the Bible. Bro. You know, King James King didn't write James? the Bible either. Oh, so but he, he just, edited it? No, he just authorized it oh, to be published. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck is King James to authorize the word of God? King. King. He authorized it to be published. Hey, you yes. can be a king? Yes, he, that's why he says God? King James. He authorized God words. God, yeah. Now it just seems like you're twisting the word. No, no, no. I'm literally, that's what you just said. Told what, me. what are you trying to get out of talking with me, man? I'll Bro, be honest with you. What are you, you. trying to get out of talking to all these people? I'm trying to get them to know the it's word like of the Lord. You just damn me to hell, bro. No, like, you're damned I'm yourself. Not, I'm dude. minding my own business. You're already damned. I'm here to warn you of that. I'm not. I can't. I'm not of, I can't I'm not condemn you. I can't condemn you. I don't want to go condemned. wherever you go. At so you want to go to hell? You want to go to hell? Why? I'm, I'm Why do you want to sure. go to hell? What? Why do you because, hate yourself to where you want to go to hell? Because heaven sounds fucking boring. But hell is torment Imagine and fire forever. Being like in eternity with people like you well, telling me like I'm I'm an asshole. Well, let me. I never said that. Oh, okay. But let me explain that, right? God loves you enough to let you go to hell if you want to go there, right? So if you want to go there, you can go there. But I'm just giving you the option to not go there. And if you don't want it, then I'll just... Huh? Is God's love unconditional? No, it's very much conditional. Oh, okay. He's a jealous God. He sets conditions. Oh, jealousy? That's yeah. not a... Jealousy. Hey, we're taking jealousy off the uh, seven deadly sins. Envy is a sin, not jealousy. Oh. I mean, my bad. Envy. Je like you... And, not the and, same and, thing. Yeah, God is not <laughs> envious of shit, right? Huh? God, God ain't envious of nothing. No, he's because God. he's God. He's there God. There you go. Now but, we get it. Now we're using jealous. logic. He's jealous. Yeah, he doesn't want you to serve any other God. You're his creation. All right. Hold up. I'm getting a call. Go ahead. Take, it, take yeah, your call. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep preaching, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm going. God so loved the world that his only, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sins. He did not send his son to condemn the world. You're already condemned because you've already sinned. I was already condemned because I already sinned. But he sent his son Jesus to die for your sins, to give you the opportunity to repent. Are you ready to talk again? Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm okay, what's up? I mean, I, I was always ready to talk. Yeah, but you had a call. Uh, so I mean. you, you go to hell? I, I deserve hell. Oh, what? Hey, but I'm not going. Were, we're in agreement then. Yeah, good, we agree. Hey, hey, God bless you. Yes, I deserve hell. I deserve to burn in hell for all the thousands and thousands of sins I committed throughout my whole life. The ones known and unknown, I deserve hell. Oh, you better believe it. But because I gave my life over to Jesus Christ who died for my sins and I repented, I'm not going. And I don't want you to go either. God doesn't want you to go either. We're not going to heaven because of our own works, people. We're going there because we have a merciful God who loves us. But there are still requirements, there are still conditions in order for that to happen. And those conditions are turning your life over to Jesus who died for your sins and repenting from the sins that you're doing right now. Because sinners are not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. It's just not true. 
Men who dress like women are not going to heaven. My brother, you need to go put some clothes on. Stop following these females and put men clothes on. They're mocking you. These men, these women are making fun of you. So fine. Oh, you yeah, came I back. Know. I thought I you said you were done. This light, this okay. light takes, oh wait. Never mind. You sure? I'll, I'll be back though. I love you, man. God loves you. You gotta repent. You may not be back, so you better repent while you're walking down that street. Guys, stop making all these plans for today and tomorrow and the week after. You may not get it. The Bible says your life is like a vapor. It's here one minute and gone the next.